Once the Prophet said, My entire ummah was shown to me. I saw my entire ummah. Rasulullah said, The way Adam salam saw his entire ummah, I saw my entire ummah. Rasulullah said, and then the Prophet said, I saw my entire ummah and I know each and every one of them, the believers and the disbelievers, the Muslims and the Kuffar, the Ummatul Ijaba and the Ummatul Da'wah. Who said this? Rasulullah Now, when the hypocrites, when they heard this, do you know what they said? The hypocrites said, the Munafikun. They said, وَنَحْنُ مَعَهُمْ وَمَا يَعْرِفُنَا He claims that he knows all his ummah till the day of judgment. He claims that he knows every member of his nation. He claims that he knows all his ummah to come till the day of judgment. And he doesn't even know us yet. We are with him. So they criticized Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is the practice of the hypocrites in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa During the lifetime of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the munafiqoon used to say that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa doesn't know his ummah. So do you see where this comes from? This doctrine, where does it come from? This belief, where does it come from? It comes from the hypocrites. The hypocrite said that he claims that he knows his ummah and he doesn't even know us. Do you know what happened after that? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam disliked us. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam came to his member and on his member Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam made an announcement. Ma balu aqwamin ta'alu fihim What is the state of those people who criticize my knowledge? Who are those hypocrites? Who are those nafiqun? who say that I do not know my ummah. Where are those hypocrites? What state are they in? Those munafiqs who claim that I do not know my ummah, who accuse my knowledge, who criticize my knowledge. And then the Prophet said, Today. Ask me today. From today till the day of judgment. Ask me about anything. I will inform you today. Who said this? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Sayyidina Anas radiyallahu ta'ala narrates in the hadith of Sayyidina Bukhari and Sayyidina Muslim. فَأَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ فَأَكْسَرَ الْأَنْسَارُ وَالْبُقَاءُ وَأَكْسَرَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ sallallahu alayhi wa sallam أَنْ يَقُولَ سَلُونِي 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 when some people saw that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was displeased, they started to cry. Many sahaba started to cry. Many ansar started to cry. And what did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started to say, Saluni, Saluni, Saluni. Come on people, come on people. You criticize my knowledge? Here I am today in front of you. Ask me. Ask me, ask me, and I will inform you of everything that will happen till the day of judgment. Saluni, Saluni, Saluni. These are the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Oh, people, ask me, ask me, ask me anything from today till the day of judgment. I will inform you of every incident that will happen till the day of judgment. فقام إليه رجل فقال أين مدخل يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم؟ A man stood up to test the knowledge of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. He said يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Where will I go? The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said You will enter Jannah, not in Jannah. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said You will be in hell. Another man he stood up. There was a confusion about his father. Remember, these were times of Jahiliyyah. There was a lot of fornication happening before the time of Rasulullah. 
He wasn't sure about his father. This was a companion of the Prophet ﷺ. He didn't know who his father was. He stood up and he said, Ya Rasulullah ﷺ, Who is my father? Who is my father? Now brothers, concentrate. This hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih al-Muslim. This hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari. And who is the narrator? Sayyidina Anas. Sayyidina Anas radiallahu ta'ala narrated this. The Prophet ﷺ has the knowledge of deen only. He doesn't have the knowledge of dunya. Rasulullah ﷺ only knows deen. He doesn't know dunya matters. That's not the purpose of Rasulullah ﷺ of coming to this dunya. That's what people say. That's not our aqidah. We believe that the Prophet ﷺ has the knowledge of all the sciences of deen and all the sciences of dunya. When the Sahabi stood up, he saw that Alhamdulillah, with the karam of Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the book of the knowledge of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has opened today. The ocean of knowledge has opened today. This is a golden opportunity for me to ask Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the question of the Sahabi itself shows that the Sahabi believes Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knows deen and dunya. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't say, why should I tell you about who your father is? This is between you and your mother. What do I know about you and your mother? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa didn't say this. How can I know about your father? How do I know? This is a private matter. How can someone else know about this? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa didn't say this. This is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih al-Muslim. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Saluni, 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 ask me, ask me, ask me. He said, who is my father? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Abu Qahuzafa. Abu Qahuzafa. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, your father's name is Huzafa. Subhanallah. This was the Jalal of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh hypocrites, you say I do not know my Ummah. I know each and every member of my Ummah. You are criticizing my knowledge. I want the world to know this. And these are hadiths in Sayyid al-Bukhari and Sayyid al-Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knew this. After 1400 years, there will be people in my Ummah who will say that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam doesn't know his Ummah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made it so clear. And Imam Bukhari, this is the karam of Imam Bukhari. This is the inayah of Imam Bukhari. And of Imam Muslim. That they've recorded these ahadiths in Sayyid Bukhari and Sayyid Muslim. So no one can criticize the aqidah of the sunnah wal jamaah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knew this. And he also had the knowledge that the members of Qamtul Huda, they will organize this gathering of Mawlid and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And through QTV, the world will watch this. Everyone will watch this. And everyone will get up from here with the yaqeen that the Prophet knows us. Everyone will leave this gathering with the yaqeen that the Beloved knows me. And he knows everything about me. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once again started to say, Saluni, 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 ask me, ask me, ask me. Sayyidina Abu Musa radiallahu ta'ala on the next. This is all time to you for then the Prophet ﷺ said, Saluni amma shi'tum, O people, what's happened to you? Ask me about whatever you want to ask me. Amma shi'tum, whatever you want to ask me. Ask me, O people, ask me. Another Sahabi stands there. He says, Man abi ya Rasulullah. Bukhari, Sahir Bukhari. This Sahabi says, Who is my father, ya Rasulullah? Who is my father, ya Rasulullah? The Prophet ﷺ said, Abu Kasalim, Mawla Shaiba, Sahih al-Bukhari. Your father is Salim, the freed slave of Shaykh. His name is Salim. Subhanallah. Sahih al-Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Fahantum What's happened to you people? Is that all? You have nothing more to ask. 
Sayyidina Faruqi Azam Ati Allah Ta'ala He fell at the feet of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam As if he was saying Forgive us Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Forgive all these people They do not understand your maqam They do not understand your status They do not understand your greatness of beloved of Allah They do not know who you are Forgive these people Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Fahalan tumun tahun Is that all of people? That's it? You've had enough? Isn't there anything else left? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knows each and every one of us.